Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plan Sue. My name is Nissa, and today we're taking a look at another mod being the Tamar Wallaby, and it's made by Lopre. Lopre, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, I know the light is weird, but I'm recording at 3 a.m. in the morning because I could not sleep. Um, so yeah, I'm working on getting some light that will work all day and not just at a certain point of day because I am aware that I look pure white in some videos and very, very orange in some others and I, I'm really working on trying to make it better. Anyway, the Tema Wallaby is this very, very cute Wallaby. It looks like a Wallaby. It have this uh, very what we would call a wild color in Danish. Uh, on the back side being this sh very short hair, thick undercoat in light coloration, almost whitish. And then these brown middle hairs, grayish brown normally. And then these very, very thin but longer hair that are black. As you can see on the shoulders and around the thighs, they have this more yellow orangey tone to it as which they also have inside the ears and then on the underside um, what's it called under the chin and all the way down the belly and up on the cheeks they have this lighter coloration going on i will say though for some of them it seems like it's the same light color that goes from here and basically all the way down and some of them they have more like lines here like thick lines and then they have the uh, brown coloration going on on the side of the cheekbones and then the light underneath also so i have seen pictures of both variations so i would just clarify that anyway let's get into the game and here they are big filler in the standard coloration here i will mention um, i did not download and every wallaby mud because that would take a hell of a lot of time to be honest uh, to go through but we have this one and then we have ooh, we have a lot of them and then we actually have the parma wallaby because it was already here it's also that habitat we are in currently i expect the biggest change to be the size again the parma wallaby is the smallest wallaby in the world um Sorry, I just need to get those two side by side. Um, yeah, they are males, both of them just checking. Um, okay, just gonna try that again before this one runs up. Again, the Tema is the one on the left over here. Oh, I put them a little close. Oh, that was actually a good comparison, the way it was just setting there. Could you just stop running around? Oh, it's eating time, that's why. Okay, I'm trying to be very quick here. Sorry, I'm really trying here. There. Okay, it seems like the uh, Pama is like lifting itself up a little bit. But this one is supposed to be the smallest in the world. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't remember who made the Parma Wallaby. I can check, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same uh, mother. So that may have something to do with it. Parma Wallaby. There. Oh, it is actually made by same mother, so no excuse for using a different scaling system. But this is supposed to be the smaller variation. Um, I think that's a scar. Yeah, it seems like it's have scars. This one, uh, you can also see it have more like pointy ears compared to the mousy ears over here. And the facial structure is just more slimmed down and it kind of looks like this is the more sporty version where this is the cutie cuddly version. Um, besides that, there is the color difference where this have this more orange tone going on over here. 
the patterns with the color of the cheek and otherwise they are very similar the back color is also a tiny bit different but not a hell of a lot anyway we're gonna take an even closer look at the Tama Wallaby in a minute but for now we're gonna just jump into Zoopedia and here you can see the, these it seems like they all have this coloration where they have this pattern with the line I haven't seen any of them that have uh, the white all the way through and that's also why I found it extremely important to mention that there is these variations but we do have an albino actually um yeah nota macropus genus which i actually don't think is the same as the palm i can again check that since i have it in here uh oh it is the same sorry about that uh oh sorry Uh, these are least concerned animals and there's between 10 to 50,000 of them left in the wild. I assume that has something to do with the big amount of different subspecies of wallabies. And they all pretty much live in the same area. So I assume that has something to do with that. Once again, they are Australian animals in the temperate and grassland biome. Uh, one of them needs 70 square meters of land and nothing else. And they live in places from 15 to 45 degrees Celsius. So you will never be able to give them somewhere too hot in the game unless you're actually putting a heater in there. Um, great to fence above a meter. These living group sizes for 4 to 30 and that's uh, 15, 15. Uh, males, females, and buster groups can be just as big. There is no dominance and they are polygamous. Um, neutral around humans and guests can enter their habitat. They grow to about 50 centimeters tall, which is half a meter. And it is... Sorry. One point six five feet i think uh live for around 14 years and weigh around seven kilos being roughly eight pounds seven and a half eight sorry 14 and a half to 15 pounds a uh, reach sexual maturity at two years old and can reproduce till they die. They will give between one and one offspring every eight months and be pregnant for a single month. And they should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. If you don't know, when I record this video, I normally download like four or five months at the time. And uh, none of the other mutts I downloaded this round is pregnant yet. I put them all in at the same time. None of the others are pregnant. I have nine babies of these. <laughs> so, yes, it goes fast. Uh, for enrichment, we have the herbs and marker, both of the large balls, the sprinkler, uh, three small balls. We do not have the pumpkin ball in here and rubber doggy. For food enrichment, we have grassing ball feeder, hanging barrel feeder, suspended forester, and hanging grass feeder. And for interspecies enrichment, we have the emu and the red kangaroo. We do not have the wallaby from the game, and I assume it's because it is actually a older mod. It's just been updated, but it is its... No, it's actually a new one, 1676. So it seems actually to be, yeah, original upload 10th of August 2023. So it is new. I actually thought it was old. Uh, that sometimes explained that. And I'm just checking here requirements. It only needs axes. So it's not made on the Wallaby rack. It's probably made on the Kangaroo rack. Again, you need when the mud is made 
on some animal from a DLC, you need the same DLC. So because you don't need that DLC, it cannot be from that animal. Anyway. Oh, we have a little sleeper. Is that a need that that's a female we have here? Oh my god, the breathing. Okay, it's not completely on point, but it actually looks really good. Not something I normally notices. Um, oh, we have been breeding the lighter variations. Uh, we have a little popping of color here, as you can see. So when you play the game out here, sometimes they will look a little different. It's actually funny because we have the right coloration. Then we get closer. And then at some point they get the dark coloration and then even closer then they go back to the right coloration. Anyway. <laughs> Here it is. I was actually a little confer concerned for the fur texture at first, but looking at it now it actually looks fairly well. We of course have the fluffiness issues, but it's not really something that I'm too mad about. Tail looks fine. But we have the little whiskers and eyebrows here, which is something not all mothers always remember, so I highly appreciate that. I do like, yeah, here you can see the fur looks a little off. The lines, I think that's the right peeking through, and you can only see it from a specific angle, as you can see. And as long as you don't go looking for it specifically, or weird things that I look for right now, then it's really not an issue, so I wouldn't be afraid of that and choose the mud because of that. Again, probably you will play your game from out here or even further away. Um, anyway, the eye is a little dark. I really like it. It is beautiful. I'm just afraid that some graphic card will leave it very, very black. Um, Again, uh, I don't think actually minimums uh, graphic card for Planet Zoo is that good. Uh, I actually never checked because I I really like my graphic card. <laughs> I just got a new one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I have a computer, guys, that makes sure of that. Uh, anyway, um, but I am a little afraid that for some computers, these may appear black, black. And this look a little fake, and that's pretty much on the count that these lines are straight. Which, again, I couldn't do it any better myself, but I have to mention that this make the lines makes it feel a little fake. It's more realistic here because the angles are very close, so it looks a little better where down here. They have really far between, so it's very prominent. Uh, we actually have a little bit of the same issue here with the line around the nose. Um, and then we don't have that. We have that line instead of the fur that hits it a little bit. So that's not too good. And the same on the lips. Again, the, this mother is not one that is every week with a new mud, but I have seen quite a few of his or hers at this point, and I really, really like most of them. I can't say all because I cannot remember all. I will just say, I will never tell you I love all muds from a mother because I don't remember them. Uh, overall, down here, they actually get uh, hit, hit blah, blah. the mothers actually hit the line down here, so the claw looks like it comes from in inside the foot, and then the fur hits that. It goes grows out over the claw a little bit, uh, as it should. I'm really impressed with that. It's a little different, difficult as you can see to get real close up and personal with the claws, but overall they do look. Good. Ooh, ooh, I wanted to show you the albino. Do we have the adult albino somewhere? Th that's the baby, I'm pretty sure. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Here he is. Oh, hiding in here. We just pull him out here. 
He's called Monty. That's a really cute name. Here he is. I haven't been looking too much of him before now, but I actually think it's really good. You can see those clear shadows and you can also see the highlights on them, which is something that can be a little difficult with black and white because you always think if you make something white then it needs to be all white or all black but here the mother actually took into account all of these small nuance nuances to make it look white without issue the eye here is very, very beautiful and i will just say the brown eye were the same idea just with brown and then pitch black in the middle um so it's just something that I just like to mention. I actually think that line down here is made custom for this model. It doesn't seem like it hits the exact same angle. It still has the same issues. Oh, what's that with the eyelashes? Okay, the eyelashes is a little bit off, but that's not too bad. The nose area here is actually hidden a little better, but I think it's because these two colors work so much into each other compared to the black and brown on the other variation. I will say this is what happens when you make long hairs in Planet Zoo, especially if you want them very, very light or very dark, but it will happen with pretty much all color to some regard. Looks weird as hell from this angle, but really good from this. Once again here we have the toesy. The hairs seems to be a little shorter here, but they do still blur that line as it should. Can I see the claws better now? Oh yeah. And again we can see those hairs go out there. I highly appreciate it. Some of the hairs here actually make the picture look a little bit blurry. But again, I don't know how to fix it. So again, I couldn't do it any better myself. Um, yeah. We have babies. I think this is a baby. Yes, this is. Uh, they look pretty much like a smaller version of the adult. It seems to be a little more cute and cuddly. It have dirty teeth. <laughs> um... But besides the size and the little more, I think a little more round cheekbones, it seems to be pretty much the same uh, model all the way down to the lines here around the eyes. So I think it's the same model, just shrunk and then pulled a little bit. Which again, if it works, it works. And here it still looks like babies when you go around here you can see oh that's a baby that's a baby this is a adult 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 and then a baby so it's not like you will be too confused about it so it's not a issue for me though personally i, I do like this small very very small i would rather actually have a baby that could sit in the pouch but i know we cannot get that um so yeah Anyway, I'm really impressed with this. So that's what we're gonna leave the camera on. Um, yeah. Again, beautiful mod. If you want to get it, there's a link below, along with a link to a video by Leave on how to install mods into your game. Uh, of course, always get Axie first because most of the mods, if not all of the mods at this point, need it to work. And you actually want your mods to work if you want them on your computer. So, for now, guys, you know the drill. <laughs> like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.